What's going on Colts Nation? I appreciate you joining me for another video where today we're going to have the injury reports. The Wednesday injury reports is week 7 Colts versus Dolphins in Lucas Oil Stadium. And the injuries are a lot this week, okay? For the Colts, we've had a lot of injuries over these past few weeks. And of course, as we always do here on this channel, we're going to start with the Dolphins who have a couple of guys, a couple of longtime veterans in this league, Teron Armstead and Calais Campbell, who had a rest day and did not practice. Then they have five guys that were limited participants. Those guys include two of their safeties, Javon Holland and Jordan Poyer, who have a hand injury and a shin injury, respectively. And each of those guys, again, each of those safeties end up being limited, so they look like probably going to end up playing. But they also have three linebackers on here, Muhammad Kamara with an ankle injury, David Long Jr. with a knee injury, who we know from his days with the Titans, and Emmanuel Agba, who is more of a uh, pass rush linebacker. Um, but nonetheless, Emmanuel Agba, bicep injury, all these guys are limited. All these guys probably going to be good. Um, which is going to be good for them. These are some of their starters, um, so they're going to need them to be good. And it looks like Dolphins, from a defensive standpoint, are going to be pretty healthy coming into this one. Now, they do have guys on the IR, just as we do. So they're pretty injured, which is why I feel good about us this week. Um, you know, we have a lot of injuries, but the Dolphins, one of the more injured teams in the league. And again, the, the list of guys that they have on the IR is vast. Um, and then guys that they had full participants, Devon A. Chan. This is going to be one that we're really going to want to pay attention to. Very dynamic. And with the way the Colts' run defense has been this year, if there's a way we're going to lose to the Dolphins, it's Devon A. Chan going nuts. And Raheem Moster and these guys going nuts on us. So, he has a concussion, but he was a full participant. Looks like he's going to be good to go. Skylar Thompson, the quarterback, he has ribs, but he was a full participant. And cornerback Cam Smith out of South Carolina, somebody that I liked coming into the league um, and really wasn't put in a good position to win or uh, succeed last season. Coming into his second year, um, you know, still somewhat struggling, but he has a hamstring injury. And is a full participant for the Dolphins. So they look pretty good on their end um, in terms of guys that are still active. And then when you look at us, here we have a bunch of guys that I feel like could end up playing this upcoming week. But nonetheless, um, of this entire list, only one guy was a full participant. Okay, going to run down all this. This is all did not practice. Josh Downs, toe. Ryan Kelly, calf. Chris Lamons, ankle, Dio Dangbo, hamstring, Michael Pittman, back, Trey Sermon, knee, Braden Smith, knee, EJ Speed, knee, Jonathan Taylor, ankle. So we have nine guys that did not practice on Wednesday because of different injuries. Three guys here uh, with knee injuries. But nonetheless, a lot of guys here taking a big hit here on the offensive end. And then you have Anthony Richardson, who is the one full participant for the Colts today, popping up on the injury report with his oblique injuries. So being able to have him back at practice is nice. Was really hoping to at least get Jonathan Taylor as a limited participant, right? When he didn't go on the IR, that gave me hope that, hey, maybe this is going to be a two-week injury he can come back he said last week he was feeling a lot better um, but he didn't practice I thought okay that's smart Anthony Richardson's not playing let's go ahead you know Jonathan Taylor he's not practicing let's keep him out get these guys fully healthy bring them back together was the idea and so far Jonathan Taylor not going to be on the field uh, for Wednesday's practice hopefully able to get on the field um, for, for Thursday's practice and then full participant on Friday. And the reason that's going to be so important for Jonathan Taylor to get back on the field on Thursday is because you want to see multiple days of action, right? If he gets one practice on Friday, then going into the weekend, you know, he's questionable, but he's probably not going to play, right? Just from a going through the motion standpoint, like he just isn't getting enough of that after being gone for a couple weeks. So want to see him get on the field Thursday. We'll see if that's happening. Um, you know, again, the Dolphins, their injury report a lot of guys probably going to be playing or uh, practicing the rest of the week on their injury report so uh, there's will probably be a lot of the same ours a lot of things up in the air so make sure you subscribe make sure you have notifications on we're going to continue updating it with the way my work situation is because of the uh because of hurricane um you know i just think uh i'm gonna have time i'm gonna have time when these injury reports come out gonna work on getting you guys uh even more content um 
um, throughout this week, but definitely going to be updating the injuries. So again, subscribe, have notifications on. Of course, I appreciate you stopping by for another video. And as always, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and go Colts.